Hi guys, what's up? It's the Vampire's Wife here. I hope everybody is doing well. Um, so today we are interrupting our usual schedule of the 100 Baby Challenge to bring you a new challenge. Um, this is the cash challenge. Cash challenges are one of my favourite things to do. I haven't done one since um, before I left YouTube, so I'm kind of looking forward to this one. Now, I've not seen it being done before. It might be done, so apologies if anybody has done this challenge. I'm not claiming it for my own. It's just something that I thought, oh, that'd be an interesting thing to do. So, as you can see, we are currently in the goth household, and I am planning to do a bit of a town makeover situation if this does go well, but do it from a wheel so a basically wheel pick my uh tiny sims aesthetic so i've got that over here so here is our lovely wheel that i'll be spinning around um and if it goes well we could have uh like different style townies so whereas the goths are obviously a bit gothy um and stuff we could see the goths the uh, Princess Core, we could see the Land Grabs be the Dark Academia, we could have Cottage Core Calientes. Um, so I just thought it'd be a bit fun to do to change up their aesthetics and do something a bit different with that. Um, and then I will obviously spin the wheel, pick, well, it will pick the look for me, and then we will make our townies over according to that aesthetic. So I guess with a further ado, I am gonna spin the wheel and hopefully get something good. Woo! So we've got the goths going for princess core aesthetic. So I am gonna um, have a quick Google of that, just make sure I've got the stuff for it. And then I will show you their makeover. So this is my attempt at doing the goth family in princess core aesthetic. So of course I started off with Bella goth. Um, this would have been a perfect challenge if I had my old CC file, um, because I did like a whole, well not a whole series, I did a bit of a series on, uh, the Royal Mod and had a Royal series, so I had loads of tiaras and big dresses and everything like that, and then, oh, I've got nothing because I had to get rid of all my CC. So I did a bit of downloading, I really need some more CC, I've got nothing, um, so... I did download some more dresses, not a lot bearing in mind, it's a bit of a shame that I didn't have my old one anyway, so Princess Core Aesthetic is kind of how it sounds, it's just a little bit of princessy stuff, so big dresses, tiaras, very glamorous, um, she does look quite realistic, they do kind of look kind of realistic in uh, this thing, so I was going for pink princess vibes, I ummed and awed quite a bit about what I should like dress her should I still keep the red aesthetic and go with that sort of vibe or should I you know spice it up this is kind of the contemplation of it here and looking through um that but no I decided that I would try it out both and uh see so we've got her in a big red dress here it's very poofy very big but this one kind of like clipped a bit that was really cute on her maybe I should have gone for that one and then there was this like sateen type dress for Moulin Rouge and I don't know there was just something about it I kept going back and forth to um so I thought I would uh, try that one out um I have got a new background I hope you like it um it is here to stay for a little bit please let me know if you do or not um I just thought you know I can't keep being boring let's have a different background uh so that's why I decided that we go for uh, a fun new one um yeah so I was trying it out with gloves this is obviously her with the sort of sort of goth vibe aesthetic aesthetic I should say not aesthetic aesthetic there was a big princess barbie moment on going on there and stuff but um no I did end up sticking with this cute princess dress it still kind of fits in with it it would be cool to tea uh vibes and stuff with that so yeah and this pink just kind of like stood out to me I was like yeah princess pink vibes go with that um no, I do wish I'd downloaded a bit more of the jewelry and stuff. I had so many tiaras in the in my last uh, save file, so it's kind of funny. And then I realised that I've got actually no like high heel shoes. I thought I did, but I didn't. Anyway, on to Mortimer. Um, I had one outfit in mind and I found it. I did have this one in my old file, and I was like, nah, it's got to be this one. So Mortimer is kind of an easy peasy pick. Um, for that, he looks. I remember doing this with him before because. 
given out the goth makeovers before um and he ends up looking like so realistic and he did with this one as well i think he looks pretty similar to when i did uh give him a makeover last time but yeah like real realistic and real um handsome chappy he when you say he's beard off it is like his lip is a bit of a surprise but i thought i'd go for the general look with him with all the whistles and bows and stuff i haven't seen what like men's prince aesthetic is or princess aesthetic so i just thought you know what let's go for the four royal regalia and then on to cassandra sorry i downloaded some mullets and i was just like i bet she'd really suit a mullet and she does um so i was kind of going for the princess uh pony girl vibe that she just looks like she's like yeah mommy daddy i want a pony she probably feels like about ten thousand, being the princess that she is so yeah she also ends up looking quite realistic as well i tried like a couple of different hairs and i thought yeah you know what she looks realistic so um this is just me trying out lots of uh different skins on her and stuff i wasn't going to change any of their aesthetics like make any of the lips bigger or change any of the skin colors and everything they're just overlays that i've got on but i started layering the skin and i thought oh, she kind of looks kind of cute and stuff so uh i thought i would stick with that they have all kind of got the same eyes again it's just like oh i need to download more stuff for my eyes hopefully for like the next one if you guys do like it if you do please leave a like uh down below let me know if you want me to do any more of these this is just like a bit of an experiment uh on my behalf for cast um cassandra's color ended up being purple i thought you know what she kind of gives me like purple vibes um so i thought i'd see i had that dress before and i just saw it and i was like oh well, let's try that on and i was like no nah, it's not princessy enough so yeah i was trying all the big dresses on with her and then just a bit with that it kind of does have a bit of a gothy edge to it that one yeah this one this is the way i go for it so it does have a bit of a gothy edge but oh my god i'm such a fan of a puff sleeve i love that i would so love this dress anyway yeah hopefully by now well i should have by now like technically by now when you watch this video i'm officially married um so yeah i'd have had my princess dress for the day um with that and then mm, the kids alexander i mean what what are you gonna do i thought i'd give him a bit of an updated appearance but like what what are you gonna do with him really i found that berry i was like oh i forgot i downloaded that um, so yeah, that I would have had my days being a princess in, in my uh, dress. Um, I, put, uh, I will hopefully put a picture by now on uh, Twitter or other social media. So you can go check that out there at the Vampire's Wife Plays. Anyway, this is my final look up. So this is obviously all of them. I think I did a good job with, with them, hopefully, with the princess core. I thought it was cute. It was a fun fun challenge to do so i hope you guys have enjoyed it if you have please like subscribe and i'll see you in the next one hope you have enjoyed thanks for watching bye